Hello, my name is Heather, and I collect fountain pens. Join me, won't you, on this magical journey. I also collect typewriters, but we're not talking about that right now. I inherited my love of fountain pens from my father. I have more pens than he does. As you can see, I have quite a few pens that I've collected over the years. I don't have as many as some people do, but it's an okay start. I love all kinds of nibs. There's flex nibs, wide nibs, fine tipped nibs, gold, blue. I like pens from Germany. I like pens from China. And I love pens from Japan. I love dip pens that are more useful for calligraphy. And I love glass dipped pens. This one is actually entirely made of glass. You'll notice the fine detail in this demon's head. Beautiful. When you start collecting fountain pens, or even if you just have one, you will find that you would like to possess a lot of kinds of inks. There's all colors of the rainbow and many different properties that you can buy. You can get little samples or you can buy a whole bottle. There's invisible inks that just went by. And of course, once you start, it's really hard to stop. Sheening inks contain two different colors in one ink. Here you can see green and red. And then there's shimmering inks that contain little flecks of... I'm not sure what. But look at the shiny! So pretty. Your hands will get dirty. And practicing your penmanship can make you look like you're writing Charles Manson's manifesto. Look. Sometimes you just need a ballpoint pen.